Hi guys, welcome down to Quest Golf Academy, here with myself Rick Shields and I'm going to be testing, slightly more in depth this time, the Mizuno JPX 900 range. I've got the Forged, which I'm going to review right now, I've got the Tour and I've got the Hot Metal. I think it's only fair to give each club their own video because they're all quite different. Mizuno JPX 900 Forged, this is the middle of the range. So it's not the most bladed of the three and it's not the biggest sized head. It is the medium sized head. It is forged. It also features boron, which Mizuno absolutely love. What it exactly means, I'm not entirely sure. It's a, from what I understand of it, it's a metal that is easily bendable, but still feels soft and maintains a little bit more structure than straight out forged. That's my understanding of it. I'm gonna hit seven iron, four iron and nine iron. Get on GC2, hitting real pro V1s, just to show you how it actually how they work, how they fly. Looking forward to this. So this is seven iron first. The seven iron loft in this model is 31 degrees, which is on the slightly strong side, but it's not going into sub, zero, sub 30, which is good. So seven iron loft is 31. So you're gonna get a little bit of a punch with this club, I would imagine. Uh, there is a model in this range, which is the Tour, which has more, um, I call it more weaker lofts, more of a player's loft. So, as I set, set this club behind the ball, what I do like about the structure of the head is it is very simple looking. It's very simple design. There's not a lot going on as I put the club behind the ball. Very little offset. Has a little bit of a different look between the face and the toe end. And it's almost like a slight brushed chrome. I like it. It looks smart. Not a big oversized head at all, but not super bladed. Let's go with the 7 iron first. Oh, and that felt awesome. Now it is forged, so it's probably going to feel quite soft. That felt fantastic. Nice little shape on that, good sound off the head. It did have a stronger feel than a super forged club, so it didn't feel butter soft, but it did feel soft enough. I like that. That's a nice start. Spun up there at just under 6,000, which is a tiny bit low for a seven, but it is a strong seven. Or a strong, slightly strong seven. It's going to turn slightly left back onto the flag. Go in the hole. Oh, just a bit short. Now that was off the bottom, bottom groove. That wasn't a particularly great hit. I didn't really crush that and that still carried 172. Typically with a 7-iron of this loft, I'm normally carrying this around 178. My first one was 174, that one was 172. So it's not a million miles away from what I would see as a good carry distance for this club. A bit more of a wide one. Is it going to come back? No, nope, it's a miss green. <laughs> didn't, didn't quite find, I found the middle on the first one, then the bottom groove on the second. That third one was a little bit weak as well, and it's lost quite considerable amount of distance that. It's lost a good, I, don't, I would say about almost 15 yards on the shot there from what I would normally see the a seven iron distance for me going. So that was a, that was a, a miss hit, which actually did deviate quite a bit off line. Not that I'm surprised, I didn't think it would potentially do that much. But again, it gives you an idea. If you're looking into a set of golf clubs that has this level of forgiveness, they're not miracle workers. They're there just to help you. Four iron. Now, this has got 21 degrees of loft on it. I'm going to pull the simulator back to around, I don't know, let's say about 210. Let's pull it back to about 210 distance-wise. 215. We'll go back to 215. Now, the four iron, as we go into the longer set, the top line of this is starting to slim up compared to the bigger forgiving model in the hot metal, but it's not super bladed. It actually looks really nice. Now, I would see a lot of golfers who go into the JPX Forged to possibly have the longer irons almost in the hot metal, which is the bigger version. I would almost see some players who are potentially using the JPX 900 Tour to have the forged four and five iron. So they're getting that little bit more forgiveness in the longer set. So this is 21 degrees. This is a good looking club head. Again, it's hardly got any offset on it, which I like. Let's give this a hit. Oh yes, that felt awesome. 
That felt fantastic. Land on the green and sit. Oh, I'll take that every day of the week. That felt so good. 208 carry for 215 or 217 total. I felt really good. Just under that 3000 spin rate. Let's hit a couple more with that. I felt so good off the head. Okay, that'll be interesting again, because that was off the bottom groove again. Not again, quite fine in the middle, yet it still found the green. That's done better than I expected. I thought I might have pulled up even a little bit shorter than that, but that was a still a decent hit. Carried it at 201, and that was off almost bottom groove. I wasn't far away from being a real bad shot, but it still managed to get on the green, which is promising. I like to see that. Let's go one more with the four. That was a really good hit. I felt like I really hit that more in the middle of the face. It has overdrawn slightly. Pulled up a tiny, tiny bit short as well. I felt like I really hit that more in the mid middle, more in the meat than I did potentially the second one. That's come up a little bit short. It's very interesting. Felt good though. Felt good for a forged head, but very soft. Right, let's move that to nine iron now. Okay, so moving into nine iron. This is 40 degree with the nine iron. Um, again, a tiny bit stronger than what we would see as almost conventional. I would normally see a nine iron being anywhere around 42 degrees of loft. Um, instantly, when I put this club down just before when I was doing the close-ups, I love the shape of the head. It's a very, very simple looking design. And for a, for a middle range set of clubs, i.e. it's not super bladed, it's not super forgiving, the look of the lower irons is stunning. It's beautiful. I really love the look of this. So 40 degrees, I pulled the flag out to 150 yards. That might have to go a little bit to get there. Or oh, could go straight in. Nice. <laughs> uh, it felt great, it felt lovely, really soft. I do love the, 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 it's like that kind of, you can feel the ball come off the face, but you also get a little bit of response in the hardness to it as well, if that makes sense. They're not butter soft where you don't feel anything. There's that little bit of softness, and then you have that, almost that tiny bit of hardness as, a, as a, a way of being able to feel what that shot actually did. Where did it hit on the face? Which is nice, I like it. I would imagine I'm not gonna get that in the tour so much. We'll stay tuned and find if that's the case. All right, see if I can get any better than that. I'm not sure if I will. Oh, that might have to go. That was a bad hit again. Not quite, and I don't mind admitting, I'm not probably finding the middle of the club as consistent as I'd like here at the moment, but that's giving you an idea of what these clubs can do. If it's just me finding the middle all the time, then it's a bit pointless. That was one, four, three, and that was a very low, low healy golf shot, actually. Still got on the green, but it is weak. All right, let's go finish on one nice one. Yeah, beautiful. This has got good chances of going in the hole. Oh, not bad at all. I like the feel of that. I do, honestly. Even the bad one, I could sense where it came from. I got a bit of feedback, but it still felt relatively soft. That forged. Um, Mizuno JPX 900 irons, the forged version. I like those a lot. I think the look of them are great. I showed you some miss hits there, which you don't mind doing. And it showed you what the good shots do and what potentially the bad shots do as well. I think they look fantastic, very simple. I love the finish on them. Uh, boron confuses me and I'm not sure why they even bother sticking it on there, just make it forged and just keep it simple. But that's just kind of what I think about the, you know, when you just get the technical term sometimes and it's almost like you don't need it. Just say it's forged. You have to call it boron, you don't have to call it something special. It's just forged. Um, I love the look of them. I think they've got the, top line, the offset, spot on for this range of clubs. And then definitely there's gonna be players who use the tour irons and have the longer forged, or they have these in the forged and have the longer hot metal. I'm gonna to go tour next. Mizuno JPX 900 tour. These are the blades. That'll make me start hitting it well. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do click the thumbs up. Comment below what do you think about the new JPX 900 range. Um, some have said they're the prettiest golf clubs that Mizuno ever made. Do you believe that or do you not? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the JPX 900 tour video coming next. We'll see you soon.